Welcome back to the channel. Oh, I guess I'm in a mood of something. So I decided to do another video. Uh, this one's a little more controversial because God knows I wouldn't do a video that isn't controversial. So this one is one of those more 5e products will lead to a sixth edition being introduced. As a third party publisher, are you just creating products or IP, aka intellectual property? Yeah, that's a question. I mean, are you creating just products or are you actually creating intellectual property? For myself, I just speak, you know, I just mean in my games in general, not just, you know, in general, I try to build IP. I know the importance of IP. I know the importance of what can happen with IP. I know building intellectual property can make you more money in the long run. I think it is the best thing you can do. Uh, if you look at my buddies over at Cobalt Press, they have built an impressive, um, intellectual property based on their games. They're all connected to 5e and they make little, you know, tangent things to it, but they're always pushing their main products. Always. Because they know the important thing is, as much as people like playing 5e, they've got to like playing in your world. And they've made a world that's great, that people like, that people have taken things from and used. And that's the important part. And that's how you build a fan base from. A lot of these guys out here, um, specifically, I, I guess on Dungeon Masters Guild, are doing, you know, they're doing stuff. They're doing products. But a lot of the products are just uh, more of the same. I mean, what are they doing to really make something that builds their business in the long term? And a lot of people are like, oh, Lewis, I'm not trying to do a business long term. I'm just have, trying to have fun. Well, yeah, but you can have fun and make money at the same time. It doesn't have to be separate. And if you're going to spend all this time doing it, why not actually put some money attached to it to make it important for you? You know, I've done several different lines of products for my RPG stuff. I mean, I've done Haven City of Violence. I've done Neo Exodus. I've done the City of Apocalypse. I'm now doing Amazing Universe. I build the IP and then I make the whatever game system I need to work with that. But the IP is what's important, you know? People can look at the stuff I built for, um, what does he use New Exodus? You know, there's tons of stuff in there. We made it for Pathfinder. Well, we originally made it for 3.5, then we made it for Pathfinder. And people who are Pathfinder fans got to see it because they were Pathfinder fans. But the adventures are solid in whatever system we made. We made a version for 5e too. But it's like, you can have the same product and release it over and over in different editions of books on the product you created. Now... People want the product. People want the thing in their new world. And that's a good thing. But at the same time, if you just keep making products of the same thing, I mean, how many, you know, once again, how many books on elves or spells can you do because you, before you just get burned out on that? So many people are doing that already. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to do another one. Are you? Again? Really? I don't know. You know, I just think it's better if you're a publisher and even if you're doing it as a hobby. I don't care if you're doing it as a hobby. I don't care if you're one person or 20. I don't care that stuff. You need to focus on making intellectual property that will pay you in the future for all the hard work you do now. You know, I've got, you know, hundreds of products and they sell every month. If I stopped working on new products, those products would still sell. And that's really what we're focused on, selling products. They can be new, they can be old, but as long as you're selling, that's going to be the helpful thing. And I think a lot of people need to focus on ways to do that. That's why I sell in lots of different categories. That's why I have products in lots of different things. I just don't make RPG products. I do stock art. I do layout stuff. I've done, you know, products that are RPG stuff. I've done a, a board game. I've done a card game. I've done eBooks. You got to pick lots of different lanes out there to make your money because at one point sometimes this thing's not going to work or it's not going to sell because it's not hot right now and then something else and back you know you should have tons of products to sell everywhere to everyone and a lot of people don't a lot of people just making one product for one thing so when the next round of you know addition comes up they've going to be making the same thing again for another thing and it's like and how many times can you really do that till people get burned on that or they just don't want to buy it anymore you know, no one talks about that. And everyone assumes that, oh, they're going to keep buying. Yeah, there are always be people buying stuff, but the money gets smaller and smaller over time. You know, there are new customers coming in. The chances are people may not see your stuff. So you got to have a lot of product out. 
And you got salt in a lot of different places doing a lot of different things. That's just me. So you can take this advice or you don't. Hey, it's not going to affect me because, like I said, I've already got products to sell. And I'm doing that. So you decide what you want to do. I hope this works out for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Do us a huge favor. Click below on the like or if you like didn't like it, dislike. Uh, if you like it a lot, subscribe. We really appreciate that. That helps out the channel immensely. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you all later.